Idomotor training, also called guided imagery or visualizations, are exercises in which we direct our thoughts to perform certain type of actions without actually physically performing them, so that it is the imagination that acts to create virtual reality. The scientific evidence shows a surprisingly positive influence of guided imagery on the quality of sports performance when used alongside traditional training. However, it has also proved as a great help, for example, in rehabilitation when the athlete cannot train or has to do so in a very limited way. After the 1984 Olympics, Russian researchers found that athletes who had used visualizations in their training performed much better. Since then, it has been used to improve athletic performance. When performing visualizations, and even without real movement, the brain gives instructions to the muscles to move. This creates and reinforces the neural pathways, which in turn results in an improvement in the quality of movement. Let's try a little practice. For this exercise, sit with good posture and close your eyes. Next, without actually performing the movement, visualize how you stand up. And then how you sit down again. What do you feel while doing it? Pay attention to what you see, what you hear. In this exercise, you have used your imagination to reproduce a movement in a virtual way. This is very interesting and in fact, one of the reasons for guided imagery to be such a powerful learning tool is that the brain does not differentiate between the real and the imaginary when it comes to creating neural connections. However, when we use mental images, the intensity is not as great as when we actually perform the action in a real way. So, when it comes to visualizations, the more senses that we use, the better the process will, will be assimilated. It is therefore important to pay attention to what you see, hear, feel, if there's a certain smell, and so on. In this sense, Developing a good body awareness will be key when it comes to making the most of guided imagery. So we must feel virtual reality as if we were experiencing the real thing. This requires a quiet environment that allows us to be relaxed. It is therefore recommended to start with a preparatory relaxation or breathing exercise to help us focus and maintain concentration during the whole visualization. It all really comes down to feeling the movement. It is important to note that visualizations should be carried out with realistic expectations. It is not much use to imagine facts that are unattainable. Likewise, the attitude must be a positive one, since it is about reinforcing positive behaviors. Also, and given that a considerable dosis of concentration is needed, it is also recommended to start with exercises lasting two to three minutes in, to begin with. With little practice, we will be able to increase this duration gradually. In any case, regularity is what will favor an optimal result. In the Nordic walking world, visualizations are very useful to improve technical skills, but also to promote an ideal mental state to face sporting competitions. In the MRM Nordic walking certification, I explain how you can use ideomotor training both to improve your technique and to mentally prepare for competition. To learn more, visit research4nw.com and click on the MRM banner on the right-hand side. I'll see you there.